Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Ballin back again with another Madden 22 franchise video. And today I'm bringing you the Las Vegas Raiders. Mind you, this is fantasy. So if you don't know who's on my squad, just check out the last video inside of this playlist, the preseason video. That's where I show my squad. Um, but all right, let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, this is the the same league that I was using the Cardinals in. Ended up throwing that season because I just didn't really care. And I know we were restarting. Sorry, that's loud. Christian Barmore, two sacks, and he gets a breakout game. Hold on, does he even start? Do I even want you to start? Yes, yes, I do. He's the starter. Cool. Um, so if he gets two sacks, we'll be good there. So that's awesome. Um, now let's just go ahead and set ourselves a season goal. Uh, so like I was saying, um, this is the same league that was in the Cardinals, like all those same people. Uh, so this is going to be a whole lot of comp inside of here. Uh, but now everyone's starting from the beginning. So there's no 99 overall QBs in every single team. Key to victory. They're going to say 300 yards. 350, dude. Why you got to do me like that? He has Lamar Jackson. Oh, my God. Dude, I never get a chance to use Lamar Jackson. I don't know why I haven't gotten lucky enough to get him. But one of these days, man, I'm going to get to use Lamar Jackson. And I'm going a, I'm to a stay inside of a franchise just for that. And hopefully that ends up being the one that I actually get to use. Because I've gotten my hands on some good teams and then those leagues never start. I almost had a league with the Chiefs, man. Didn't get us started. Uh, luckily, I got one with the Bills, and that's pretty dope using Josh Allen, even though I just got smacked with him. But that guy was that guy was good, so I ain't even tripping. Um, so we're gonna turn Bobby Wagner into a speed rushing outside linebacker. He's still gonna be able to do all of his usual cool stuff, but on top of that, he's also going to be able to. Uh, what, what am I trying to say to get to the QB ca cause a little bit of a ruckus back there? Um, I think we're just going to do his field general constantly. I think that's, oh, look, we ended up getting plus one throw power out of that. Well, that's pretty nice. Wasn't what I was expecting whatsoever, but we'll totally take it. Holcomb, let's put speed rusher on you. Hmm. Definitely put a run stopper on the D lineman. Plus four block shedding. You gotta love it. My boy Perry made it on my team in another league. Love it. I've been getting lucky and getting Perry a lot. Like I tend to get lucky in terms of getting DBs because I feel like most people don't show DBs that much love. But what which one do I want? Slower kicking meter. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the slow meter. Yeah. So like I was saying, like people don't people understand the worth of a fat, a really fast and good QB, because that's what everyone knows. But people don't understand the the worth necessarily i mean people are starting to understand in, in a lot of these leagues especially the ones that have a lot more comp people are starting to get it but well it's whatever it's side tangent all right so let's check out his team all the teams are random no one got to pick who who they have here I, i'll show my, my team real real brief just so y'all can see what i'm working with O-line is looking rough. D-line is looking nice. 
Linebacker core is looking nice. Whew. I moved this strong safety down to middle linebacker. You know, 88 speed, middle linebacker. That works there. Um, and then DB core is just stocked. Stocked. Got 91 speed, Nate Haas, bro. Look at this. Look at it. Where, 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 where. That's why I put him near. 93 jumping at six foot. Like, I guarantee you at some point in this season, I'm going to have him just chilling off in a purple. Someone's going to try to throw it over his head, and he's going to jump ridiculously high and catch it. Um, and then I got, you know, Perry Negerson always on the field, you know. Um, and we got Jalen Ramsey right here. So looking nice, looking nice. And then we got Patrick Peterson playing free safety. Um, it was between him and Gaines. But, you know, at the end of the day, Patrick Peterson is just going to play the ball a little bit better. And I feel like we can potentially draft a new safety in the next season. So that'll be like I'd, I'd rather need a DB or a wide receiver or a tight end, like anything but QB, man, like like just something else that I can get so I can potentially get the fastest person um, that the draft has to offer. Uh, and yeah, so that's my squad. And then slot wide receiver is going to be Nelson. Sub linebacker is going to be Robert Rochelle. Why? Six foot. Um, and where is it? 94 jumping. That's why he's there. Um, also, so so basically what I'm going to, as you saw in the weekly strategy, I'm upgrading him. So the idea is going to just going to be to consistently upgrade his run support. Um, and then that'll automatically upgrade his zone as well. Uh, so we'll be good there. All right. Um, that's everything, man. Now let's go. Oh, wait, I didn't even check out his team. I got so distracted looking at mine and all that goodness that I forgot to check out his. So I think it's interesting that the, all the QBs are the same. Maybe that was on purpose. Um, but yeah, so Adam Thielen, Nicole Hardman. Okay. So speed versus speed for sure. Hmm. Dude, he has Jacob Harris on the bench too. Wow. I already have him in, in a, another franchise, so I guess I won't try and trade him for him. Plus, I ain't really trying to give up anybody. TBH. Slow corners. That sucks. Slow safeties, too. That sucks. Beastly offense. Sucky defense. Um, let me take a quick peek at his line. Oh, my D tackle is going to have a rough time, man. Like, bro, all his linemen are in the 80s, bro. Other than that right tackle, like everything just so stacked. He's never going to get through, man. All right. Well, there you have it. Those are the squads. Now let's get into this game. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. The atmosphere here, electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Baltimore Ravens. The first of two here on a Monday night, the opener for these two teams as we're underway on EA Sports. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play. It's second down. Well, you know, paramount for this defense is trying to keep Lamar Jackson somewhat contained when he tries to run. They did a pretty good job of it there. And you know what's so difficult for every defense that has to prepare for Lamar Jackson? You have to think and play at the same time. And I know that sounds like something you're supposed to do, but when you have to think about your assignments against him, it often slows down your feet. You don't move as fast. You've got to be prepared for this guy every step of the way and then try and match his athleticism.
So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. From the gun, it's Jackson. He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. That's to his running back, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. I have to imagine many a defensive coordinator's had a sleepless night trying to game plan ways to slow down Lamar Jackson. What do you think is the most effective way to try to do it? Well, you've got to be a little counterintuitive because normally you're sitting on the wide receiver one, aren't you? But with Lamar Jackson, I'd sit on the tight end. He loves to throw into the middle of the field, loves that position as his number one target. Take that away and hope you have... Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, throwing back across his body. Picked off inside the 10. And the Raiders are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 route? Nine meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared, but I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Play action, now it's Carr. Towards the end zone for Brown. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Marquise Brown, 37 yards. And the Raiders are on the board here first in the season opener. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And that makes it 7-zip Vegas. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Here's me, Cole Hardman. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. the play fake here's Jackson he'll buy some time right got a man here it's Wilson now he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35 a big connection on that one 30 yards so the big play changes the complexion of things here's first and 10 just outside the 30 from the gun Jackson Flushed out right. Thrown across his body and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And he takes this one back into the end zone and the Raider defense delivers a score. Gano now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This taken in at the goal line. 
And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right. They... And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Nicole Hardman, 74 yards. And the Ravens are able to show off their quick strike ability. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. After the touchdown, on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They run for the first time with Javante Williams. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They give it to Williams, running right. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. Throwing on first down is Carr. Left side complete to Lockett. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Three yards remain for second down. To throw his car. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Now Carr. It's caught by Aguilar. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. And he's taken down inside the 30. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And they can't bring him down. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Javante Williams with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Gano the extra point, and it's now 21-7. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. 
when you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Nate Hobbs there to bring him down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Play action. It's Jackson. Being chased out left. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Third down, Jackson. Dancing to his left. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. they look to throw open receiver that's Hayden Hurst the tight end and he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45 catch number 100 for his career right there and it's good enough to keep the chains moving so here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 45 yard line They go play action with Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Throwing again on second and 10. Jackson, he'll leave it for Hunt, complete. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. And we remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll hand things off to the coach, Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have a look back at a very intriguing opening weekend in the NFL. Again, Jackson buying time to his left. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. And the end result of that play, you're almost not sure what you really want because when he gets outside of the pocket, you actually hold your breath because you think he's going to run for big yardage. But when he chose to pull it down and throw it and a play was made to knock it away, that's a pretty good end result, not one you expected when the play began. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it. This time doesn't work out. And the Raider D, they get the football back. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. He's going deep for Brown. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Love the idea, love the concept, but you gotta leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. Second and 10. Throwing now his car. This one swung out to Williams. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, 
But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. This complete left side to Aguilar. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Tyler Lockett, 35 yards. And the Raiders are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Jackson from the shotgun. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Here's second and ten. Jackson. Let's it fly for Thielen. Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Snags it for the pick. And Charles, you know, it seems like sometimes when you fall down early, there can be a tendency there to try and get it all back in one fell swoop. And that time, that thinking leads to an interception. And I believe you brought up a really good point there, Brandon, because you try and force plays, right? You try and get all back in one shot, just as you mentioned there. And you know you're going to need some big plays to get back into the game. But ultimately, you really can't force what isn't there. Sixty-eight yards rushing for him in his first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. And a run like that shouldn't surprise anyone who's ever seen Javante Williams play. Compact, strong, physical runner. He ran for 1,000 yards at North Carolina last year. In fact, it was over 1,100 and 19 touchdowns in addition. And that's despite sharing the backfield with another 1,000-yard rusher, Michael Carter, who was taken in the fourth round by the Jets. Najee Harris and Travis Etienne were taking over him but many thought that Javante Williams might be the best back in the draft. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Now the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. On second and a yard, Carr. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. 
Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They run it again with Williams. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. On play action, it's Carr. And this is hauled in by Matthews. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. On first down, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. It doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Now they'll throw with Carr. And Matthews has it right side. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. On the option to give to Williams here. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. On now is the field goal team here as the Raiders will try for three. This is a 26-yard attempt. And Gano's kick is right through. And that will extend the lead out to 24. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. And that one will bounce out. end zone so we will start here at the 25 the Raven offense set at the line for this next drive and three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, and what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? And eventually he's taken down here. Great coverage downfield, resulting in the sack. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So after the sack, here, second and 14. Jackson now. They still under pressure again, and down he goes again. 
Christian Barmore in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. After that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. To throw is Jackson. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. He's got a man complete. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play there on the catch and run. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Nicole Hardman, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Ravens cut into that lead. Now this opening game has certainly not gone their way to this point, but yeah, you know, that touchdown may be a, a glimmer of hope for the long season ahead. And no one in this league likes to talk about moral victories. No one likes to really just say, okay, well, maybe something went right. But you're exactly right about that. A little glimmer there. Maybe they can carry it over moving forward. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready. Because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. They've been pretty anemic on this side of the football in the second half, just three points, and you just saw the touchdown go the other way. So it's a two-score game. We're not done here yet. I think everyone's on the edge of their seats now because they're anticipating what's coming, and I sense that everyone in the stadium knows they need to keep it on the ground. So if you're going to do that, hope the quarterback is stretched a little bit. Some bootlegs, right? <laughs> Some fakes inside, getting out to the perimeter. Those might be open for him. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. The Raiders on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and seven. And he checks this one down to Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground, keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Now Carr. And that is incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Here's Hardman to return. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Forced out to his left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. But sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing throwing the ball as well. 
to throw again on second down. Jackson eluding the pressure right. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Here's Jackson to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off at the 14. And he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. Well, we knew this was going to be a tall order anyway, down two scores with this little time remaining, but that interception puts an end to any hopes that they had. All right, partner, work with me here because obviously scoring a touchdown, getting the onside kick, then going down, scoring again. Well, that's asking a lot, isn't it? And that's really not a great expectation to begin with. I think they'll look back on this game and see what got them in this spot in the first place and say to themselves, we really gave this game away. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. The busy night continues for Williams. Williams is going to have the first down and a little more. And finally down at the nine-yard line. 154 yards rushing for him now here in week one. A very solid start to this new campaign. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll run here with Edwards. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Gus Edwards, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Gano the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 23. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. McCole Hardman to return it from his end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud. And now here is another interception. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Raider defense delivers a score. Extra point try, good by Gano, and the lead will swell by one more. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. to the air, Jackson following the pick six. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know, what do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you, no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. From the gun on third down, Jackson. He's got his big tight end, that's Hurst. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Four, four. 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 
One last shot for Jackson. Flushed out right. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for Las Vegas, it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for Baltimore, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a home date next week against the Kansas City Chiefs. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody. Just like that, we get ourselves the week one dub. Granted, we did play that guy before. I forgot what other league and which team he was, but definitely played him before and, and won. It was most one of the more recent games that I played. But, you know, it's cool. Um, luckily, he ended up being a nice guy. And as you saw, he let me get my sacks with my D tackle because his line was so good. There was no way I was getting through that. Like the second I finally got a chance to just to try and use my D tackle and get through his his center and his guard, bro. Like it was just I was just stuck there. Um, so cool. Let's see what we got for him. Ten thousand XP wasn't even for a dev. That's stupid. So camp standout just gets him 10,000 XP, but it literally just said dev. I don't understand that, man. Why would it say dev if it ain't gonna give me something for dev? Ooh. X Factor active for the entire next game. Dude, I've been getting that a lot recently. I feel like I've never seen that before and now I just keep getting it. Spend these staff points. Cool. Just, just working our way to after school tutoring. That's that's the deal. So, all right, we got ourselves a dub. Hmm. Let's see where we rank in the interception list. Dude, Westry got seven interceptions. Like, look at look at look at how crazy that is. Someone was just throwing him every single pick possible. Whatever. I mean, if someone's going to throw that picks, I, there aren't many picks. I'm just saying, like, play me then. If you're just giving them out all freely, willy-nilly like that, and you see someone got Tyree Kill at running back. Um, so there's that. That's pretty crazy. That's insane, man. Um, but yeah, so that is everything, man. If you watched this far, definitely like the video. Subscribe to watch some more, man. You might as well. You, you made it this far, bro. You obviously like the videos. Just hit the like button at the least. And I would make the suggestion of, you know, just going down there and hit that subscribe button too. So anyways, I'll leave it at that. See you in the next one. Peace.